Hey guys, it's Kat Bean and welcome back to another episode on my long term survival world. So, in the last episode, we got Swift Sneak on our leggings. Now, I, um, wrongly, thought that Swift Sneak meant that you didn't need to crouch, which would have been amazing. But no, what it means is that when you are crouching, you move faster. So, obviously, without the leggings. Crouch, this is how slow we go. With the leggings, I think we've got Swift Sneak 2. It goes up to Swift Sneak 3. Um, so as you can see, a lot faster than it was. Uh, it would have been better if we had Swift Sneak 3, but beggars can't be choosers. So let's see if we can get those other chests. Um, while not getting absolutely destroyed by the warden now that we can move faster as well. I'm still salty about the hostile mobs spawning up here but I need to still remember to keep my finger on the trigger button and not do that. Shh. Sneaky, sneaky, sir. I let my finger off the trigger, but why can't I get down? Oh, yeah. I find it kind of annoying how you can't go down the stairs while you're sneaking. Did he come out? I don't think he came out. Would have been a whole lot scarier if he did. Right, I think I'm okay. I keep taking my finger off the wrong button. Is it that part or that one that alerts in? Can't see any more of them around here. Just gonna grab these real quick. Yeah, right, I don't see any more of the tentacly ones. And there's no more chests up here. So I did get that chest before the first time. So let's see. If we can keep going. I got an enchant, uh, an achievement, sneaking next to a skulk sensor without triggering one. Oh, cool. Uh, great. So I take it that's another one of the new enchantments. There's more chests over there that I wanna... Right, I'm gonna go put my loot, this loot away first in the chest and then I will come back for 
the other lip. Which is over there. Because I'm not, I don't want to push my luck. So far, so good. We got that other chest. Yay! And I think I got all the skulk sensor bits on that side, so I'm a little less apprehensive of spawning the warden. I mean, even if I do destroy all the bits and don't spawn him in that, like, don't kill him in this one, I can always go find another, uh, you know. How about this thing we get? We got cat. Oh. I was hoping for better, but anywho, uh, right. Let's let's keep crackalacking. Right, again with the sore glasses. Really regretting my life choices here. I'm a sneak on. Just remember not to take my finger off this one. You can take it off the other one, but not of this one. Okay, and I need to use the stairs because I can't jump down. Really need to light this place up, huh? Oh crap, that was close. That one was like right there. I didn't even see it. Can I? Okay, so far so good. Still okay. We're still okay. There's two over there. he comes and sees me and kills me. I just want him to go away.
yet, so. Oh crap. I think I'm safe. I'm not moving. Oh no. This is nightmare fuel. This is complete nightmare fuel. by a swiftly charged figure while trying to escape the warden. Yes, I was. I just got my ass kicked. But, at least I put my stuff in the chest before, but I do want my uh, gear back. I do have backup gear that I'm quite attached to the gear I have, plus my leggings now have swish sneak, which is apparently rare. So Does the warden automatically go away when he kills you? Ah oh, now I'm gonna have to crouch like badly all the way over to that bit. I don't think he's away yet. At least I know where I'm going. Go grab my gear slowly. Hope I don't get blown up or anything by creepers and what have you, because I don't have anything to defend myself with. <coughs> Pardon moi.
Okay. Put all my gear back on. Very loudly, apparently. Right. To the sneaking. Can I break the chest without setting off the uh, those? trying to destroy my whole life. Mate. I'm going to have to go around again. Ugh. I should have brought some blocks with me to Okay. Okay. 
wonder how long it takes for Morden to go away. that long of that change fingers. After 60 seconds of being calm and not detecting any vibrations or sniffing any mobs, it burrows back into the ground and despawns unless the warden has been named. If the warden is floating on a liquid, it will instead immediately despawn without any burrowing animation. That was gonna happen. Slain by the warden is an understatement. Where's I need to take some blocks with me this time? I'm not making the same mistake again. How did he know where I was? I'm convinced it can hear me talking on this microphone. Convinced. Some like good hearing that guy's got. Uh, the, um, do I not have any better? Can it get through obsidian? Right, I better go for my crap these ones. What's the point in having Spoof sneak if you keep dying and losing your gear <laughs> and then have the crap sneak all the way back again? You know? Right, I'm taking some, yeah, blocks. Now, if I could just sneak around by myself without the other hostile mobs, I'm pretty sure this would be a like easier experience. But these guys aren't supposed to spawn down here, and they're ruining my life. Yeah. 
Okay, still here. Can you smell me? I really need to go get my stuff. Still here. What the crap was that noise? I think he's still around, but I really need to go grab my gear. Quietly as I can. Okay, got my stuff. At least that's the main thing. I don't know if he's still here. Everything seems quiet. But everything always seems quiet until he like comes and destroys you. Hopefully safe ID hole if I need it.
all of them. Please let that be all of them. I don't think I could take any more. Take like a little plaza tool down there. Okay, is there any more chests that I need to get? Hello, sir. Any more skulky bits over there? Is a making sound. Ladder over here. Can't see any more chests so far. There's a wool over there, there's another shaker thing over there, so I can respawn the warden. Guys, if you want me, you're gonna have to come get me. Right, not spawned anything yet. Not looking to spawn anything, I'm just looking around seeing if I can find any more chests. Out these guys where I see them.
but that warden managed warden that creeper managed to blow up and not set anything off, so we're doing good. Although I appear to have run out of torches. Yeah, and it doesn't look like there's any more chests to be had, so I'm gonna head back. And then next time I come back, we will try and kill the big, big bad. It says there are still skulk sensors about, so I can respawn them here. So need to do a little prep work though. I am still crouch walking. Okay. Right, let's head back. Oh, I don't think I've ever had so much cramp in a finger. That's one of the downfalls to uh, playing on the computer or laptop. As opposed to like an Xbox or a PlayStation or a Switch or something. Right, is there any more gear that I need? Those, no those, don't need that. How am I going to get a hold of this? Um, got gold berries at home, don't need that. Gold shard, that looks cool. Don't need those, don't need those, don't need those. Nope. Uh, I think that's it for now. Okay, so it took a while, but we got there in the end. Successful run. Got the chests. Um, We'll come back with some um, snow buckets. Uh, maybe not next time, but when we do come to kill the warden, uh, we'll come prepared with like a ton of arrows. Um, I'm still working on my redstone with the dispensers uh, and arrows and stuff, so we do need to lure them in, so I might bring some chicken eggs as well. Uh, and the ender pearls just to get away when I can. It's not too bad after you've been killed by him a couple of times it kind of loses the scare feeling. Uh, right. Curse of binding. Oh, thank you. Right, I want to take all these home with me. My water bucket. Organize my stuff. Uh, all that can stay here. Take the candle. Oh, can't forget my hole. Get the clay. I thought I had some dripstone. Apparently not. And technically, I don't even have any space for my shulker box. So I'm going to have to leave these candles. Uh, yeah, right, cool. So, we just need to get my back, back home. I need to remember these coordinates as well, so I'm just going to take a quick picture with my phone. Maybe I really need to make like a book and quill. I do have books and quills, but I just need to write the coordinates in them. 
and then remember to bring them with me uh, right this way oh hello guys just chilling in the woods are you I mean what difficulty is this I think it's not easy yeah so that's easy so how hard would the warden be kill him like hard I mean that would be insane and hardcore mode you know what I want to see like a decent Minecraft YouTuber fight the warden in hardcore mode in Java and survive uh, like not using any like tactics like I'm gonna do because I need to be more strategic with my kills because me PvP is not a good idea. Like me straight up trying to kill something never works out. So I need to strategize with like snow buckets and what have you. Uh, but yeah, if someone could like legit kill the warden in hardcore mode and survive like actually fighting it I would be super impressed and if anyone has done that please uh, let me know where I can watch that video I would like to see that right, there we go Heading home. I'm pretty sure there's snow buckets, snow up there, which is not that far away from the warden. So next time, well, when I come to kill him, uh, I just need to bring a ton of buckets with me, and I can collect some snow on the way there set up the trap you don't need to bring redstone because you can get redstone basically anywhere uh, we'll need dispensers and arrows uh, one of my friends told me I can't remember if it was I think it was arrows of weakness that he used I'll need to go back and read the comment. It was on one of my other videos. Uh, when he killed the warden in survival, he just used like a bow and arrows. I think it was arrows of weakness. I'll need to go back and double check. Um, but that seems like a good idea. This is a nice little birch forest. I like this. But I'm just happy I got this swift. The swift sneak and uh, got those other chests. I was quite happy with the loot we did get. A lot of the regeneration stuff. But he do kill you a lot. So it could be you know the difference between life and death with mm -hmm. Warden. One of those little potions. Right, I want to jump on the bad snow. That, that is the bad snow. Not on there. Let's stay away from that. Hey, ice. 
forgot this be. Oh, I do need a silk touch pickaxe. Where's the pack dice? That is that pack dice? That's the boy oh, yeah, something that I'm not pack dice. How is it you get the coat to... He's like running to the wall or something, isn't he? Hi, sir. Give me your horn. Sir. Sir. Give me your horn. That didn't help. Horn? Come <coughs> It's not killing the goats that gets you their horn, it's they have to run at you uh, and then pop their heads off a wall or something. Thing about trees in Minecraft, and you just walk all over them. I should have brought a bed, but hey ho. I'm struggling to come up with ideas for what to make in my creative world. Oh, for the fuck's sake, there I thought that was mud. Wait, how do I make mud again? Do I. I'm going to go back to you. How do you make mud in Minecraft? I want to. I want mud. I don't have mud yet in this game yet. Oh, that's a handy little, just a little, but you could probably make like a little base out of here. That's cool, I like that. Ooh, it's even in the I'm ominous and scary. Yeah, but this bit would make like a wonderful little makeshift base. What's all the creepers? Oh, 
I don't know, do, do you guys know whether you get an achievement when you kill the warden? I mean, I've had two other achievements so far. I can't remember if it was this episode that I got the last one in. Oh! Had anger issues. Uh, okay, up we go. Right. Yeah, so if anyone's seen my Twitter, um, you'll know we just had the help visit around not that long ago to check on Eowyn. To do our like our weight or height or head circumference, check her development, or make sure she's you know um her weight and everything else is absolutely fine, which is great because her weight was a big worry for a long time. Uh, but her weight has settled now. She's uh, grown quite a lot, which is good. She's um, putting on the weight that she's put on, so we're not so worried about that anymore. But um, it is looking more and more likely that she is autistic, which is fine. It's absolutely fine. We knew that the chances of her being autistic were quite high considering the other two are artistic and when we got pregnant with Eowyn uh, even my other two kids paediatrician had stated that you know the likelihood of well we didn't know that she was a she at the time but um, the likelihood of her being autistic would but she is who she is, and whatever way our life turns out, and her life turns out, uh, because of this, it's you know just the way it was meant to be. Like, um, although I don't like watching kids struggle because of their disabilities, uh, if they didn't have them, they wouldn't be them, they would be someone else. So. We just want Eowyn to be Eowyn and be happy. Uh, instead of wishing she was someone else. Uh, there is like, a grieving, like a sort of grieving process that parents with disabled children go through when you find that your kid's got um, a disability, whatever disability, when you find out that your life doesn't look like the way you had envisioned it, uh, and when you find out that your child's life isn't going to look like how you had envisioned it, and that your child is going to have to struggle um, more than a regular child uh, 
just because of who they are and how their brain works. Uh, it's a difficult pill to swallow. Um, but we are at the stage of I'm sad because she's my last baby and I really didn't want this for her. Like I didn't want it for anyone but I couldn't see the other two being neurotypical now. Um, But I really didn't want her to have to struggle the way that they have had to struggle. Uh, especially considering she is my last child. Uh, so it was, it is still something I'm coming to terms with. Uh, she is still very young, she will not be referred to the paediatrician until she's about 16 months old, like Nathan was. Um, but knowing the professionals that I know and the capacity that I know, I've known them, uh, I've known uh, the other two's paediatrician since my son was 14 months old and he is now 8 years old so I have a good um, rapport with the pediatrician and speech and language therapists, occupational therapists, the educational psychologists etc etc um, just in the capacity of being a parent with children with additional sports. And I know that when it comes to the point that it is only obvious that she needs a referral, uh, there is a process to go through. But at some point, the parents are aware and all the professionals are aware uh, that the child has this condition. Uh, but legally, the professionals cannot say, well, in the UK anyway, legally, the professionals cannot say that they have this condition. Uh, until you've jumped through all the medical loopholes and been formally diagnosed. So it's a working diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder. But that doesn't uh, account for all the comorbid conditions attached to uh, a person's autism. Like, my son is autistic, primarily, uh, but he is also hypermobile, he is also learning disabled, uh, I, I think he might have some ADHD as well, um, but at this point it's essentially not worth pursuing because essentially nothing would change. I don't feel that we're in a position where we need to medicate him. Uh, so the only point in pursuing a diagnosis of ADHD would be to, if he needs to be calm, uh, calmer than he, I was going to say calmer than he is, but that 
they didn't have. Uh, where are the potions? Oh, here. Uh, yeah, but we're not in a position where we need to medicate him for that, so it's pointless for us pursuing it. That he, it wouldn't add anything to his support as it exists at the minute, so. Uh, if it's not going to add anything to his package of support, then there's no point going through the stress and hassle of doing it. Right, uh, whereas my oldest. Um, Isabel, she is autistic. I think she's also hyper mobile. She can do like weird stuff with her hands and stuff that uh, makes me think there's definitely some hyper mobility there. Not to the extent of making hyper mobility, but just like a some lesser degree of hyper mobility, uh, which doesn't really affect her. But she also has um, quite severe anxiety and social complications uh, but she could pass for neurotypical if you didn't know uh, like uh, I'm not going to say ignorant but uh, an unknowing person because I didn't know anything about autism until Nathan was diagnosed with uh, but a person that doesn't know about autism and how autistic people, some autistic people react to things and their sensory stuff and all that sort of stuff could very well presume that Isabel was really typical. Uh, and obviously all people are different and um, so it will be interesting to see if and how this affects Eowyn growing up. But as you guys know, I will probably rant about it further on and I need to get to my bed because as you can tell I am yawning my head off. So thanks for watching guys. This, I think this has been a pretty long one uh, and I'll catch you in the next one and hopefully soon we will start prepping to go fight the warden in survival and hopefully kick his butt but we'll see how that goes because I'll probably get killed a few times. Uh, but such is life. Anyway, catch you in the next one. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Goodbye.